everybody, and welcome to the first instant classic of the week. This is The Sublime. We've done a couple months ago, maybe even more like a year and a half ago, we did a little bit of The Sublime in art. We just got done with an interesting story about how art, fine arts teachers now have decided they too would rather teach critical race theory than they would teach, you know, fine art. So we're going we get, to fill the gap here with our own version of real education uh, separated from what these idiot fake educators are all about in the progressive classroom. So what do, what I, mean, I, what do I mean when I say the sublime? Take a look at this picture. Uh, give us a close-up of the picture, Mike, if you can. This is uh, the great Frederick Edwin Church and his painting, The Sublime. Uh, the Sublime painting, you could also look at it as big sky painting, right? This is the great mighty outdoors in its panoply and its glory. And this one is doubly uh, sublime because you've got this beautiful night scene as the sun is going down and you get those beautiful flame oranges and those deep yellows. And on top of them, you can see the mellow blues following as night is about to descend on this wonderful river sky that uh, church paints so accurately and with such detail. But here you have a, an extra kick. Frederick Church has also created a, a skyscape that does seem to resemble the American flag, hence the title, Our Banner in the Sky. And you can see that the, the, ble the deep blue where the flag would be, where the stars are, actual stars filling in for the stars, and those flames of blaze orange f uh, filling in for this, the stripes. Now, this is interesting because this painting was, was, pa was released uh, in 1861, the very same year that the Civil War began. And so Edwin Church, Frederick Edwin Church, is making a double statement here about the resplendent nature of the, the resplendent capacities of nature in inspired by a creator, and the uh, burgeoning patriotism, in Church's case, for the supporting the Northern cause against the South in, world, in, the first, in the Civil War. And so Church himself was born in 1826. He would die in 1900. He was a great American landscaper, a landscape painter born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a central figure in the Hudson River School of American Landscape. These painters were best known for their large landscapes, often depicting mountains or waterfalls or rivers or sunsets. Church's paintings put an emphasis on realistic detail, dramatic light playing, and panoramic views. That's the sublime. When you s see the, maj the majesty of these, uh, we're, look at, we're gonna look at Church's work all week long, and you see the majesty of this natural landscape of this great country, it's hard not to be patriotic. It's not hard, it's not difficult to see the American banner floating in the sky. All right.